The existing lobby did not feel like YouTube. From the early meetings, it was clear that it was time for a change, and people were really excited about doing something a little bit more fitting for the company, and a little bit more, I would say, contemporary. When people come to visit, that's their experience of coming to YouTube, like that space. Previously, it never had like an arrival moment. I like to think of the 901 lobby as our version of the student union. Everyone eventually stops by there. One of the things that immediately catches your eye is this very large digital installation on the southerly wall of the lobby. It's really designed to kind of pull you in. What we wanted to do is to actually, instead of focusing on making the newest, like, high-resolution video, the biggest screen, um, to actually focus on an innovative way of showing you what a screen and what a video could be, and trying to create an experience that is unexpected because it's not what you initially think when you think of screens and videos. The abstraction was just a way of sort of deconstructing a video. You're sort of pixelating a video, you're, you're, you're taking away some of the fidelity, and it becomes much more of, of an art installation. So the content is embedded in the wall, and when the content is off, it's just a wall. That's the idea, to integrate YouTube content into architecture. Understanding how the space is going to be experienced through social media, whether it's a photograph or whether it's a video clip, that was a strong driver of the design. We have a lot of content creators that come in, and when you have them come in and visit the site, you want them to feel like, hey, we're welcoming you, we want you to have like something to take away, and usually that's, I guess, with this generation is like a selfie or a video moment. Vlogging is a part of YouTube's history and present as well, and so we made sure all the lighting, all the acoustics are set up so that you can vlog almost anywhere in the space. So you have this beautiful, green uh, lush wall as a backdrop, or you have the digital installation wall as a backdrop, or and just walking throughout the space. The Artifact Museum is a series of objects that were donated by famous YouTube creators to educate folks about viral videos and the different product areas that are shown on YouTube. The medallions are really cool. They all, all have really cool key phrases related to YouTube's mission. There's a little monitor or sensor that will flag like you're standing there and then you'll see like this digital experience that's new on the digital monitor. None of the triggers are really pointed out to you. You may not notice it the first time. You may notice someone else doing it before you do. And in that kind of discovery, there's a bit of, a bit of like that YouTube random video chance where you're like, you don't know what's gonna happen. YouTube has always been very playful, and there's always a layer of digital mixed into all of their designs. I think as they're maturing as a company, it's a little less literal and a little bit more about a, a feeling that you want to evoke that represents the brand and growth and change. I think this project is symbolic of here's where we want YouTube real estate to go. 